Hello comrade, this is part one of the planning uh, series, mini-series. Um, objective today is uh, initial rail construction yard, so let's get to work. Okay, dokily. So the plan is, I want to export raw coal, which comes from this mountain here. Here's a loading station in the center, and the train line goes here down the hill, comes here to a yard and goes out here. And we made some space for it, we killed some construction offices and now let's get to work. First thing, first thing <laughs> is uh, let's make a little bit flatter land here, maybe, let's see, okay, yeah, here's something like a hill. Don't want to have. We build only nice things here. We stay a little bit. <laughs> Come to stay. Okay. Good. For the future train line. Yeah, should be nice. Okay. Plan in this train line here. Let's see. Okay, it's somehow parallel. Good. Now we're driving up a hill here and um, to make use of this we go over the road and let's take a little height tool and build a mountain. And the nice thing is if you, have, if you want to build a defined mountain the height tool will stop by the radius of its size. So if you have a bigger radius... oh. Let's not forget something. First thing, uh, toolbar is blocked because game decided to put on a farm there, <laughs> farm assignment, and I cannot delete it. If I click here, I can delete it. If I click there, uh, no luck for you. Also other things like delete key does not work. Do I have something more sensible assigned here to my toolbar? Okay, yeah. here's my standard setup. And let's, oh, let's go on pause because uh, we need to plan a lot. This one can go. Let's make this dirt road here to protect the normal road. So it does not get filled. Okay. And further on we trot. Terrain. Right. Okay. Let's make a radius of like this. So you limit the radius and it will not go higher than it can. Simply stops. I want to have a height of... Oh, 11. 11.5 yeah, meters is fine. And we go up the hill here. So... Let me see. Make it parallel to the radio station. Like this. Okay. Ah, if if I want to have a more cliffy edge here, I can use a gas station. If you use um, buildings to make the last part of flattening, the game allows you to make a cliff like this one here. See. It cliffs even more aggressive if you um, if you click on the building when it can't can't be built, and uh, it makes a plong sound and tries to help you manipulates the terrain even more ridiculous, which we want will not do. This does not work. Let's see. Go a little bit further away. Which is also nice because we have a ramp. Okay. So a nice gentle curve with a nice waiting block here. So if a train loads and unloads, it does not dangle on the on the bridge. This one looks a little bit weird.
Maybe we can avoid this. Okay. Good. So we have our guiding track here. Mm. Let's remove it so we can make better earthworks here happening. Mm. Give me the road tool so I can create a plateau here. I use the roll tool because it's the best tool in my mind to make slopes happening. Um, all other tools you can make uh, quite nice flat surfaces, but sloping not so much. Let's level this one out. And you always want to have rolling hills if you go up a hill. Not too much here, so we don't steal our land, which we claimed. By rolling kills, I mean uh, this one is nice rolling kill. I made it at the start of the last season, I think. If you don't have this rolling kill type uh, landscape, you will get into very ugly track. Okay, let's see. And take out our parallel track. Let's take a look where our road tool needs to go, wants to go. Okay, so something like here, go away. Okay, so we need to flatten this one. This little obstacle here. Again, trusted watch tool technique to build a nice a ramp here. Or flatten this hill. the whole rolling <laughs> height line business here. Luckily for us this is no bedrock or not super hard bedrock so our excavators have a good time. <laughs> okay. The height tools really came a long way. Quite like them. Can make things work reasonably good. Okay. This is the. Oh, it's gone. Not good. So let's take a look. Further on, we trot. Up the hill. Yeah. Second track. Now we need to build our little uh, construction yard. And I want to have a construction office, a rail construction office here and a depot and a refueling station. And I want to have a turn loop. So if a train comes, for example, from the right side here and decides, oh, I go refueling here and he don't want to go to the border, he needs to turn around. And usually the train avoids this kind of adventures but I don't trust the game fully so if I have a refueling station I always want to have a turnaround possibility afterwards so I save myself a lot of pain it was in the beginning of the game really much more pain the trains got a little bit more smart let's prepare our land here for the yard We remove some rail to be extra nice.
Should be okay. Make the terrain better. I always try to preserve reasonable slopes, so these red lines I don't like it so much, but I don't think we can do so much at the moment. And unnecessary humps uh, also don't like and will get eliminated. Okay. Um, level this one out a little bit. Reconnect. Oh, hey. this one I don't like. Mm. Yeah, because I did. What the frick? point yeah good good okay rail construction office please so rail construction got a lot smarter in the way uh, the small train always finds a way to get himself into trouble. I'll just place you nicely aligned to you. Are you? Do you? Let's check. Yep. Also aligned to the track somehow. Okay. Mm, place you here and hope for the best. What are the lines saying? Yeah, could be okay. We will see. And next, uh, depot. Let's start with a small depot. I don't want to have super lo long trains going up the hill, but... As long as the loading station is fine for me. Hmm. I think I will turn you around. Make a track. So, like I said, I want to have a refueling station here and I want to enable trains which come from here to go back because at the border they cannot go back if they don't want to go to the border so I need something Let me pick up the first point here don't like it okay. so I need something like Here. And the back line is here. Okay. At the moment at the wrong side, but fear not. I'll fix it. Because right hand side traffic, if a train comes here to our hypothetical refueling platform, which we will instead here. So refueling comes in here. Um, so okay, train has refueled and goes on the right hand side and merges in here. Okay. So either he merges in here and goes to the border or he merges in here and goes back. 
Here you want to have a refueling because we work with diesel trains because no money. Diesel trains are a little bit cheaper. In long term I want to have electric trains. But at the moment they are okay. So they always come out a little bit funky. Yeah. This one looks okay. This one meh. Oops. So for the best. If you don't know it, you will not see it. Mm. So, the train can go back in here. Problem is we need to cross the line, but it's not so dramatic. Oh, let's follow the contour. It's not so dramatic um, because there will be no high traffic. The most, the, the most traffic will be here, the unloading business of the call off on the mountain, and there will be some traffic um, going sometimes to the border but this border is mostly reserved for the oil bus uh, coal business uh, sorry okay okay aha uh -huh. got you oh this is ugly Yeah, it stays ugly. Hmm. Can we make it better? I think so. So the trick is, uh, the game allows to have a steeper angle. If you go from the outside. So if I go from here, let's see if, if this works at all. Could you give me a... No. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I know you want it. Mm -mm. I want to have this track as a guiding track for... But... Yeah? Okay. Okay, I see here. Good. So I have a guiding track here. And now, it should force the inner track to go as planned. Okay, good. You can make the game <laughs> with the next inner track, which is funny, uh, so the radius gets smaller and smaller. You can also make the next inner track, which looks... Sometimes uh, it will start to look stupid, so don't overuse this trick, but you can make very tight turns. Okay. Let's not remove our cheese in. Okay. Good. Nice, nice. Let's connect the further business of the rail construction. Okay. Like here. And the incoming depot track, like here. And the outgoing depot track, quite a while away. For a track which really has no bigger sense in life. Okay. Good. I will build another construction track, I think, here. But at the moment not. Hmm. 
let's take a look at the situation here. So, I do want to have a waiting track here because I will have two call or trains loading and unloading constantly, but I don't only want them to occupy the right side of this loading station. So one loads, another one waits and goes to the and the other one goes to the border, the waiting train moves in and so on and so forth. The left one should be a free line to go here, up and away. And um, so I need a waiting track because if I put in a third train, I don't want him to be waiting after this one goes to the border and load and so on. So I want to have a smooth traffic situation, which we can create. To make a waiting track here hmm, like so so only the right traffic is for color So call or wants to go here also. And the traffic which uses this one as one lane wants to go left and right. Okay. And I will force the trains to go in through this one. What's the length of this? Yeah, should be fine. So the maximum length of the trains I want to have is uh, like the loading station, which should be around 120 meters. So this will be a signal block. This is a signal block. I'm fine. This will be one signal block to have always a single train lane length. And this one would be a block. Yeah. The trains can unload and it will look reasonable. Okay, good. Yeah, this setup is a little bit strange because the um, the diamond crossing is after the merge in here for the waiting block. But I think it's okay because the waiting block is sim simply uh, will be occupied by these ones and hopefully not by other ones. <laughs> they should. Um, I will make a special. I will make an end track here and a uh, yeah, double track after this one. So should be okay even with trains which are a little bit simpler minded. Let's make it a little bit longer so I don't shoot myself into the foot too hard if it does not work. Okay. Good. Yep. So I'm quite happy with it. Um, I think they should go in every direction and right? Let's uh, connect them a little bit up. It's crooked. You can come in over here. Okay. Smooth it out. So we don't forget. This one here... Make it a little bit like a bridgehead. Okay. It's fine. Okay, yeah. 
good. A little bit steep. Let's see. We can. Okay. Nice dam. Good. People should come in from the right side here, from these houses. And I will create a footpath. Should be no big problem. From here. Yeah. Can go here and over there. Let's see how much it takes. So these are 200 meters, 200 something meters. Ah, nearly 300, but it's okay. At least two flats should reach. Okay. Lock in the roads so they get built. I want you on high priority. Hopefully my construction picks it up. Okay, and that's all. That's the rail yard for the initial construction. I want to go with the rail yard as fast as we can to the border to get more machines. I have the option to create a conveyor setup here. So here over and yeah. We will see how fast it takes the gravel out of the thing. The problem is uh, restricted parking spaces in this one. So let's see how we do. This one will co be connected over the rails. The signal link I will do at the end. And that's the end. <laughs> so, hope you have enjoyed it. We'll see you next time to the next part of the uh, planning phase. And bye bye, comrade. <laughs>